And here we are. What are we going to see today? What was that? What is this? And where are we? Well, there's a cow and there is a four-wheeler scooting along. And this is the soon to be released, or by the time you see this, perhaps it's released, Juice Goose from Parallel 42. I mean, it's got, um, it's, it's got wheels. It has wheels. It has, it has big shock absorbers. It has whip antennas. Oh my God, totally nuts. It's totally nuts. And it's in a flight simulator. Oh, look at that, a personalized license plate. Man, what can we do with this thing? I'm gonna find out um, what are the coolest things we can do with it. Um, well, hold on. Let's back up a little bit. Uh, this is the main menu we're in now, and we're gonna just check out what we got here. What are we looking at? There are three different versions of the juice. There is the crawler, the the touring, the speedster. I jumped right into the speedster. I think I'm still in it. <laughs> there is the crawler. What is the difference? And what do we got here? We got liveries. White ones, blue ones, green ones. We got the touring liveries. Blue ones, green ones, pink ones, gray ones. Okay, I think the liveries might be the same. This is a pre-release copy. So there might still be some changes uh, before it actually goes into production. But it was so exciting to get this. I just wanted to jump in and start driving around, start checking it out. Um, a, a quick overview. Um, we're going to hop in here and check out this scenery and see how far we can get just driving around. So let's see, where do we want to be? Um, somewhere in here. There we go, parking. Sunset Strip. So much in every single scene that Parallel 42 puts out. It's really great to have a vehicle to check out these scenes, and, but you can do so much with it. There's so much you can do. It's, um, it's like having a whole new sim. I never think I would, uh, I never thought I would care, but... Having a fun vehicle like this is cool. There's been other vehicles. This isn't the first. So here we are inside. And there seems to be some radio chatter or something going on. Oh, okay. The scene has um, some radio playing over to our left. And I'm going to stay away from that in case it's copyright. So anyway, you got a quick flip drink. You've got... Uh, a door, the door opens. I was trying to open the glove box. In the glove box, you've got some special, how's this open, let's see. In the glove box, you've got some special things. You've got a little toy. You have got some uh, handy wipes. And you've got a QR code. So if you need help, you just put your phone up to there. It takes you right to the help desk. Uh, and this door also opens. There's the dude dancing. Always a lot to see at these scenes from Parallel 42. Now, I'm using my controls to make this. So I'm using my right um, rudder pedal to go. I'm using my joystick to turn. So I am so not used to this. It is so bizarre. The, the <laughs> but, but it's fun. It's more fun than I thought. There's a lot more to check out. So uh, hang out. Hang out for just a minute. We'll drive around. We'll see some scenery. We'll see. Oh, here we go. Of course, that is maybe the funnest thing that it does. Right there. Right there. Another four wheeler over here. Camping tents.
mostly what I'm trying to get used to the controls. You can control it with a Xbox controller. Apparently, it the, the Xbox controller works like a lot of other games. Thing is, I don't do a lot of other games. But, um... I think eventually I would get used to the... It's using my controls, my rudder pedals, and, and uh... I'm not using my throttle at all. Just rudder pedals. And flight stick. So, there's a road that goes down here. And look at the map! Check out the map! And the sounds. I figured out that maybe you don't have to uh, floor it everywhere. Maybe I don't. Whoa! What's? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Right back on the feet. Somebody else has been doing some stuff out here. Somebody in a nicer car. Okay. So now, here we go. I want to jump out and look around the scenery for a second. So I'm in my uh, drone cam, but I can't get the drone cam to work. There's the drone cam, but it's frozen, and I'm hitting the C key. I'm doing all the things you would normally do to make the drone cam work. And I just... Uh, Okay. We're jumping ahead now. Uh, I moved up the road a little bit. I got the drone cam to work by opening the cameras and just switching to drone cam. It just, it was stuck on a, um, on a camera. I might have done that. Clicking buttons. I don't know. Uh, let's check out this brook for a minute. Let's check out the lake. We are near Finley Lake in California. So I'm not sure if this is Finley Lake or a pond. I thought I would look for some wildlife. Okay, there's a frog in the picture, but I'm not going to find it. <laughs> in the scenery pictures, there's a there's like a little frog, so I thought I would just look. There's another cow. There's lots of cows out here, which I like. If people, if anyone have seen my stream, of Flights with Joel on Twitch, we, um, I like horses. I like looking for horses, so I'm always looking for wildlife. Any additional wildlife in the sim, I think, is huge. Now, look at the detail on this. Massive shocks. I love the mud everywhere. It looks like there's even mud flying through the air just as you're sitting there. Here we go. Let's move down the road a little more. I think this is the way to something. It seems like it. It looks like a good road. You're getting a two for one here. Checking out a brand new vehicle that's not even out yet. When I made the video. And Sunset Strip scene. Am I going too fast? Am I missing something? I could be. Nope. Nope, not yet. Keep going this way. The trees are a little funky because, you know, the sim's not made to be seen from the ground. It's a flight sim! What am I even doing? Look at how great the tinting is, though. There was a uh, paved road, I believe. Something up here. Logs. Nice stack of logs. Just in case they ever get the hoist working on the helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's probably something there that I'm missing. 
I'm sure I'll hear from the developer about all the things I missed. Always do. But you gotta get this. The, these scenes are extremely budget friendly. And you should grab them all. Collect them all. There are several of them in Oregon, right near each other. They're currently in California. <laughs> I'm losing it. I am totally... Ah! I'm still getting it. It's <laughs> oh, I'm not a very good driver. What am I doing? I'm doing about 60 miles an hour, 63 miles an hour on a dirt road. So that does get a little crazy. Nothing here. There's a log. So, oh, what do we got here in the settings? Go to the settings. Controls, realism, reverse accelerator, maps, map style, AI vehicles, which I didn't realize. So that vehicle in the beginning might have been an AI vehicle. There's the QR code again. Different ways you can set your controls. Visual effects, which as far as I can tell, I have on high. That's why they're so cool. These are um, different lights, headlamps. Fog lamps, light bar, glow kit, that's on. And then we have all the different options. Doors off, windshield off, uh, front guard, roof light bar, roof light bar. Nice. <laughs> Sounds, it's very much like a shop in, a, in, in different games, several different games make this. Make those little noises. And there we are. Now I've reset the whole thing. I need goggles or something, though. Turn the light bar on. Nope, that didn't do it. Uh, try again. No, not that. Uh, there it is. Light bar on. Okay, there we go. Now we got lights. There we go. Now we're gonna need to change the time of day with flow so we can see the lights. Not dark enough. I can't see very well. Oh, look! <laughs> I reset the, the... And now we're here! Just when I reset the lights, we come to this little cafe on the farm. Nice! Very nice. Got a dog. The Hungry Bear. Some hot, nice vehicles out here. Whoever owns this farm has got some good stuff. Let's see which way now. Made it to the Hungry Bear. Looks like they got coffee. Coffee and hot dogs, maybe. All right, what else is here? Love, love the lighting. Check that out. There's a construction site. There's some houses being built. Houses, yeah, looks like it. Or maybe they're gonna make that roach coach, or that truck, that food truck uh, permanent. Maybe they're gonna make a restaurant, but it looks like houses. There's a pile of sand. I know just what to do with the pile of sand. What I mean, a vehicle like this, here we go. Whoa. Oh, oh, <clears throat> dang. <laughs> it just tips right back up and we're back in business. No worries, here we, oh wait. Can't get over that. I like that that's solid, that's great. Can't go through the buildings. Nice sunset happening at Sunset Strip. Uh, through sideways through the bushes. Um, let's not hit the aircraft. What was that aircraft over there? I don't know. Let's not hit it. 
What else is down this road? I'm not sure if anything's left. Um, this way. There are lots of things going different directions. The sounds are fantastic. I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, looking at the map on the screen, I'm just not sure if there's anything else up here. There's still a road here. I can still see that there's something. The sounds are just awesome. Let's see how fast it goes. 62, 65, 66, 71, doesn't tell me, I don't think it tells me what version I'm in here, I might have switched versions messing around with the sim. I'm not in the 140 mile an hour one, I almost said knots. Probably a measure this one in miles an hour. Here's the info. Version. Everything's tickety-boo. Everything's tickety-boo. There's your systems. 72 degrees, heating, charging, 97% charge. Our train's all good. There's all your temps. And suspension. Two degree. Oh, so this is how you're sitting right now. I am still looking for a nice cliff to watch the sunset by. Got a bigger straight right here. Love the, love the brake lights. Not something you see often in the flight sim. There's a little path. That looks like a um, hiking trail. A little sideways action. You can get sideways all over the place. I was just trying to uh, use the replay tool, but the animations don't come out with the replay tool, but that's, that's the fault of the sim and the replay tools. So we just have to do this live. Many people will probably just do that all day long. Look at that dust. It's absolutely beautiful. That's about all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching. This has been another Flights with... Drives with Joel. This has been another Drives with Joel. The Juice Goose. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a little more. I forgot a couple things. I forgot a couple tests. Okay, so here I'm in. I jumped back in because there's a there's a few things I wanted to try that I just uh, don't seem to have right. Something seems to be wrong. I haven't started, which all you have to do is push the gas to start it. So there it is. It started up, and I just realized that I'm in the way of my controller. So there's the gas. How fast can we go down this road? That's the first thing. How fast can I go? What have I hit the juice? Whoops, I'm steering. <laughs> Uh-oh. This isn't gonna work. There we go. Okay. 
All right, straight down this road, as fast as you can. It's not doing what I thought. Oh well. Okay. Next thing. This this should go better. <laughs> this should go better. I've got this. I've got this figured out. I think I do. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to try was the teleporting. So I have to put the parking brake on. There. Now I can explore. St. Anthony Sand Dunes. Ooh, look at that. Stockton Sand Dunes. I wonder if they have Bandon because uh, Bandon is actually a pretty cool place. I don't see it. The Great Pyramids. So from here, you can just um, Broughton uh, brought Burrows. Broughton Burrows. Um, ah, Absard Dunes. Let me go back to the... Stock well, Stockton Dunes. I've probably been there. Let me just try this. So anyway, you can just teleport right to it. So you hit the teleport, and you're going to be in the dunes. And it, whoops. And my sim crashed. No, no, it didn't. <laughs> it's back. Here it comes. It's making noises. It says it's ready. Please wait for landscape to load. So this, ooh, this is the same as in flow, but it never made this much noise before. I'm connected to chat, but I'm not live, so no one's chatting. Okay, it says it's ready. When it says it's ready, I always hang out for a minute and let it load. This is be I'm used to this because of flow, but this is built in to the Juice Goose. It's built right in, so that's great. Okay, I think we're in. I think this is it. Um, there was my little amendum, amendment, amend, addendum, addendum. And uh, thanks for watching. It's been another drives with Joel. Whoops, that's gonna be a bump. Here we go. Whoa, alrighty. <laughs> uh, it's gonna see if I can get a jump, a jump in before the end of the show. If I had the juice going, if I had a juice button. Anyway, here we go. Take care. Like and subscribe. Come back soon. I hope I have another video for you very soon because there's another product coming out that I might get to check out. There's a little jump. Uh-oh, not what I was looking for. Take care, have fun. <laughs>